right, take number two. <laughs> My computer messed up, but um, so on this on this one, we're gonna be covering uh, Yoast. Well, I'm just gonna show you where site maps are, and then we're really this is a beginner friendly for Webmaster Tools. Now, Web Google Console. Google Console is what it's known as now. Um, so they just updated it on their new version and their new platform. I'm going to test it out. I just use the old platform for now until they absolutely get rid of it. Then that will, that will kind of force me to use the new one. Okay. So you're going to add, you know, go into plugins, right? You know, add new and you know, hit Yoast. Y O A S T, I think is how it's spelled. Then after you add it, you make it active. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to XML sitemap. So I did this because this is my second take and my computer decided. So take a poop on me. So after that, you just don't copy this last string. And then we're going to go into here. So, but, but first, I really want to explain this to you is that you need to set up Two, you need to add two different ones. So you just want to add a property, you want to add two properties. And when you're adding properties, you, you want to decide which one you're going to use. If you're going to use the dub 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 or the HTTP, or if you're using the HTTPS, right? Um, I'm not well informed on HTTPS. I haven't, I haven't really integrated, integrated to that section of the whole search. And I don't know if it does better, if it does worse, or exactly how it performs. Um, so oh, this next step is add in site maps and really drive it into here. So um, after you add these in, and when it's your first website, Google's going to ask you which one you want. And you're going to go through a list of details that you will need to do. Now, I don't remember the exact details uh, because it's been a while since I added a brand new site in. As you see, this is. I used to have like 20 sites down here. I got rid of all of them, so I don't only have them sites, right? So next is adding in your site maps. So when you add in your site maps, you'll go to crawl and you know hit site maps, robots. It's a whole different, whole different feature, and I'm not going to go into that. So all you want to do is hit, click add, and the one you just copied, the one that's way over here for me. Right, you just copy, you know, come over here. Obviously, I'm not going to actually do it because it's not going to be useful for me. So, you say control V, oops, yep, you hit control V, and you hit submit, and you're done. And how many sitemaps that you have, you know, submit all of them. Not everything will be indexed, not all your videos will be indexed. So, I have a plugin for my video index, obviously, but other than that. This is pretty much it. This was the short video, and I know, like, the second video was really, really long. Uh, there's a lot to it. Um, so I'm not sure how much I'll be adding more into here. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions or anything that you'd like me to talk about inside these videos, be more than helpful. Other than that, I'm going to get out of here. It's the end of the beginner blogger um, blogging tips for beginners. So oh, this is this little quick little series. So if you'd like to hear more, tell me exactly what you wanna what you want, want me to focus on where I can give that content out and be useful for me to give give me feedback so I know exactly what it is that you're looking for. Anyways, I'll get out of here and it's the end of the series. Peace. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.